Officially, private military companies, or PMCs, don't exist in Russia. In reality, though, it's enough to run a quick search on the internet and you'll find at least 10 of them. Some offer security assignments in Iraq, others training by former high-ranking officers in the Russian army. There's actually a very wide range of services available, from maritime operations to hostage freeing to spy missions. And it's all perfectly legal, according to the head of one of these firms, Oleg Krinitsin. Russia inherited its legal system from the Byzantine Empire, which means that whatever is not explicitly banned is legal. So offering defense services outside of Russia's borders in areas threatened by terrorism is not explicitly banned under Russian law. Krinitsin's RSB group specializes in protecting ships against Somali pirates. His soldiers sign new temporary contracts with every mission. If necessary, when I get an order, I can produce 1,000 fighters ready to take up arms within under a week. They're all former Russian army officers, people with real combat experience. But Oleg refuses to call his employees mercenaries. His company does not participate in actual combat, he says, neither in Ukraine nor anywhere else. Russian law strictly prohibits the use of mercenaries who risk eight years in jail if discovered. Yet Russians have been found operating with PMCs in combat situations. The case of one firm, Slavonic Corps, which is registered in Hong Kong, sparked a scandal when it was found sending former Russian soldiers to the front line in Syria. Officially tasked with protecting oil installations there, they ended up fighting alongside President Bashar al-Assad's troops. <laughs> The Russian secret services deny any links with the operation. The Slavonic Corps fighters were left poorly armed and penniless. They managed to make it back to Russia, only to be arrested and sentenced to three years in prison each. Those Russian companies that do exist have a lot of difficulties because legally they're in a grey area. They're not protected when problems arise, they don't have licenses, they're not controlled by the state. Unlike in the US, where the State Department looks after such firms. Or Spain, where it's the Labour Ministry. Or Britain, where it's the Foreign Office. Calls for the creation of a legal framework for PMCs have not fallen on deaf ears. Dmitry Gorovkov, an MP with the party Adjust Russia, which broadly supports Vladimir Putin, has just tabled a bill to legalize their operations. You have to understand one important thing. A mercenary, according to our penal code, is someone who acts out of purely financial interests in order to enrich himself. What we propose is a law that means that the primary beneficiary of PMC's operations will be the Russian state. The law will help the Kremlin to reduce its defence budget while simultaneously increasing Russia's presence in the international arena. Effective action without the direct participation of the military or even the state. Vladimir Putin has recently expressed keen enthusiasm for this idea. A lot of countries and organizations who have anti-Western views would be glad to invite Russian private military companies to guarantee their security rather than relying on Americans or Brits. There's a real market that we can profit from. A global market, in fact, and one that is worth more than $350 billion. The Russian parliament is due to debate the bill to legalize PMCs 